what's up what's up everyone uh thank you for watching so today we are going to uh, set up transformer shadow rising and we're going to do the standalone version now the uh, techno parrot from what i hear is pretty just straightforward the standalone version is going to require a little bit more work but the uh, good thing about the sound load version is you want to have a little bit faster uh, load up time since you don't have to load up the uh, techno parrot interface and also it's free so you won't if you're not a uh, sub member for techno parrot this will be a free version uh, we're going to go over how to find the rom how to add the necessary files from demo shooter we're going to connect demo shooter to it we're going to do some simple media scraping we're going to toss this onto a launch box build i want to use the uncle rick build for my example but you can use any other builds that you want it'll work just as fine and i'll show you some other tricks throughout the video so anyways let's go ahead and get started and get you playing this pretty amazing game Okay, um, first just have your gun program running. I'm running the latest stable sending software. If you're running the 1.08, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, just make sure your button assignments look like this. And we'll handle our border and everything we needed throughout this video. Okay, so once we are sure that's on, go ahead and open up your launch box build that you want to use this for. Okay, and like I said, for me, I want to use the Uncle Rick Unleashed. So if you're a user of this build, then just follow exactly what I do, and you should have no issues. Uh, load up your regular launch box. Okay, so once you have your, your uh, launch box open, now we just go ahead and minimize this. We'll come back to this later. I just want to make sure we have everything open that we need. Okay, so of course, I can't tell you exactly where to find the ROM, but what you're going to look for is Transformers Shadow Rising. If you just put in Transformers 2, it's not going to come up, but search for Transformers Shadows Rising. A couple of good places you can find that is in your local internet archive site, as well as the backup me. Going the archive route, I do recommend uh, doing it by uh, torrent. I tried it by zip, and I don't know if there's an issue with the zip file for it just downloaded very, very slowly. But going the torrent route, I was able to get it downloaded in less than a couple of minutes. All right, and whenever you get it downloaded, you'll have a file that look like this. It'll say Transformer Shadow Rising, or it may say TSR, just depending on where you get it from. But the inside files should all be the same. Go ahead and open up the zip. You'll have your Sega. So this is your main one. This right here may be named differently depending on where you get it, but this will always be the same. So just look for the Sega folder, and you'll see these right through here. And if you can just see these folders here then you have a good version. Now this version is gonna work for both techno and standalone, but with the standalone, there's a little bit extra that we're gonna to need to do. So just uh, continue to follow along. Okay, uh, first open up your games folder, wherever you put your games at in your launch box. All right, and I'm in my games folder in the Uncle Rick, and I'm gonna create a new folder. And I'm just gonna call it Techno SA. Stands for Techno Standalone, but you can name whatever you want. It's very, it doesn't matter what you name this folder, but it's gonna be a place for us to drop these files. All right, so we're gonna go back to our downloads where your file should have went or wherever you choose to put your file open it we're going to pull this folder into the folder that we just created all right so here's a techno essay or whatever you named yours we're just going to drag and drop Shadows Rising or TSR, it really doesn't matter what that's named. The only thing that matters is you have the Sega folder inside 
in the muscle folders inside that Sega. All right, so we have uh, this downloaded. Now, if you go, if you want to go standalone, which I do recommend, since you know it's going to be free and gives you a little bit quicker boot up time, we're going to go to the demo shooter site and pull some files from that. All right, so go to your uh, Google search or whatever you want to use. Go um, demo shooter GitHub. You want to click on the uh, Argon Full and demo shooter right here. And a big thanks to him for putting this together. This is what's going to allow us to run this as a standalone. Right here, what says Argon Lee Full, or however you say that. Apologize for getting your name mixed up. But we'll click on that. We'll scroll all the way down to here. And we'll see two files here the demo shooter and the TSR loader. So we want to click on the TSR loader. And we're going to click on, we're going to download two things. We're going to come to the code, download the zip. Okay, we're going to open it. Open this. Open up the uh, loader main. And we're going to place this in the spot where the transformers file is. The executable, I should say. All right, so we're going to go back to where we put the game in for our launch box. So be SA, Transformers Horizon, Sega, Transformers 2 folder, and we're just going to place all these into there. All right, go ahead and close this box out. We're going to come back here. And we're going to click on both of these. So we're going to start with the configurator. All right, scratch that. Come to your right hand column, and where it says releases, we're going to click on the launcher v1.0 latest. And then we're going to have the launcher v1.0 zip. So we're going to click on that, let that download, open this up. They're going to place these two files, and you can even do the README if you want, but it's just not necessary right now. But it is good ring material if you want to grab the README text. All right, so let's click on these two, drag them and drop them in here. All right, now we're going to click on the configurator. This is what's going to get everything set up for standalone. It's going to do some changes in the files, binaries, etc. So this is why whenever you try to start the game and it just crashes, it's because it's not set in the standalone version. It's still expecting Technoparrot to run it. Yeah, so we want to get this not found. So this is why you want to do the configurator so it can create this i9 and the changes. You want to get this little resolution option here. You can change this to whatever you want this to be. So the screen is kind of small. It's probably because it defaults to a different size. So I want to run this at a 1920 by 1080. But you can put yours whatever you want. Uh, full screen. Now a kids mode, I believe this just takes away the gun. So if you don't want a gun showing off in a lower screen, you can just turn that on. Page select, subtitles, etc. All this is really good by just the default. So now you can just save it. Now it's going to continue to save some files and some directories. Now we can close this out. Now go ahead and launch it. And we're going to do this just to test and verify if the game does launch and goes into the game. But we won't be able to actually play anything because we still need to set up our demo shooter. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the uh, launcher. All right, so we're going to get our system initializing screen. Now, depending on your build on your computer, this could take some time. It may seem like it's going to slow down or freeze, but it's not. It just takes a good while for this game to load up. So we're going to have some patience. We're going to use the power of editing to speed this part up. All right, so we're going. And on my end, this probably took about a good two to four minutes. It takes a while, but it could be worth it. Okay, so anyways, we had the game going on. We could mainly turn our borders with the Alt-B button or just our Center button. 
that'll come up fine. I want to show you how to make that automatically come up using Reshade. Okay, but that's all we can do for now. We can verify it's running. It's good. Okay, now that we're good, go ahead and get out of the game. Now, using um, Escape it doesn't close the game out just yet. Anyways, once you get this running with LaunchBox, Escape will close the game out. Uh, the only way I can figure out at this point to close the game is just hit my Windows button. And then once it minimizes, I just manually close it. So just come down, hit X. All right, we're good. Now go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to open up our launch box. And now we're going to place our game into here. So just going to right click, go to add. Up here, we can just scrape a little bit of a little bit of media. Okay, so at Transformers, search for metadata, and we're going to have Transformers Shadows Rising. Okay, so we're all good here. Make sure our platform's at Techno. Comes here, media, download media. And this will give us just our basic screenshots, our clear logo. And a flyer just kind of fill in some space. Now, in a later video, next video, I'm going to show you how to put in some really good media for this game as well as a point blank we have some great creators in the light gun lunatics group so if you haven't joined that yet in facebook go ahead and do so you'll find tons of information especially over light guns but they put on some awesome artwork that we're going to use in the next video michael uh, streener created a lot of good stuff so props to him for putting in the work but for now we'll just go with this basic stuff for now then we'll church it up later all right so hit okay um we're going to need to go to launching so we're going to point this to our launcher here so i'll just pull it back to to my um local c here my uncle rick games all right, you're just going to go to your game, and the one you're going to tie it to is going to be the launcher, so it'll be this one right here. And you can just tell by the Optimus Prime head, that's the one you want to use. Hit open. And go to emulation. It's going to have this checked, so be sure to uncheck that. Hit OK. Hit F5 to refresh your screen. Now we have some clear logo. We got some fan art. We have that. So now we can launch it from LaunchBox. So let's go ahead and do that just so we can verify that it does launch with LaunchBox. We still can't play anything yet at this point, but this will make sure that so far everything is good. Okay, and about two to four minutes later, we can confirm that the game is still running. Okay, now we still can't get out of the game with escape, so we'll just use the same method again. Uh, we're going to tie an auto hotkey to this, and it's going to have a couple of changes we're going to use, and that's what's going to allow us to close the game with escape. But it's like last time, go over here, hit your X. All right, and now we are good here. Uh, next, we're going to need to uh, tie our demo shooter to that. You will need the latest demo shooter. So I do not have the latest demo shooter on this build. So I will show you how to get another demo shooter, run it on a build with an existing demo shooter. So that way you don't have any conflicts with any older games. So let's go here. Go to our search. Search for your demo shooter. Go to your releases. And you're just going to click on the latest one right here. You'll have the V.7 zip. Go ahead and download that. All right, once it's done. 
go ahead and open it, then you'll see all these files. So we'll need to put this in a folder. So I want to open up my launch box. I want to go to uh, tools and I already have a demo shooter. So I want to rename, put a new one. Demo shooter version 12. So V12. You name whatever you want. Okay, you have nothing in here. Now we're just going to take and drag all these into here. Okay, now do make sure that your guns are connected and the system that runs your guns are connected as well. So, of course, most of y'all are sending users, I'm assuming. So just make sure your ascended program is running. It doesn't matter if it's 1.7, 1.08, um, the latest one, the beta, whatever. We're going to go to the demo shooter GUI. Have player one configuration. Have your border up if you are using Sendin. And we're just going to go down the line and look for your PID. Already knowing the PID of your gun will make this a lot quicker. I know what mine are, so I'm come down here to the bottom. My black one's going to be 0F38. So if you have a black gun and its firmware is read as the black gun, then it's going to be a 0F38. And they can verify this correct gun by just moving your gun around. You can see the mouse is moving. I'm pulling my pulling my trigger off screen, so that's three. If I was on screen, it read as one, so I know that is correct. I will hit my save, and they're going to do that again for our player two. And my player two is going to be uh, zero F zero two, and this gun is red as the red as the uh, red gun. So if it's red, then yours would read PID underscore 002. And don't let all these numbers scare you. The only numbers that you need is just right here where it says PID underscore zero F and just whatever. If we have a different gun, it would be underscore whatever four characters there are. But you can always verify which one it is when you pull your trigger or move it around. I can verify that as number two. I'm pulling my trigger on the black gun and I have no inputs going off. So I'm not showing any conflictions. Okay. Now hit your save config. That is saved. Close that. You can close your border. And now we need to tie this to the game. So we want to open up your launch box. We want to right click on transformers. Go to edit, edit, metadata. We're going to go to additional apps. And we're going to add application up here. We can just put in demo shooter. You can name this whatever you want, but this is the most important part is your application path. And you want to go to where your demo shooter is located. Tools. And this is the one we just put in. And we want this regular demo shooter. Some applications will want demo shooter X64, but this one we're going to need just a regular demo shooter. And depending on your setup, if you have any issues when Demo Shooter comes up, like just any permission issues or can only be run by administrator, you're going to need to set this to run administrative mode. I know as of lately, it seems like it. And this could just be on a build per build basis. Admin, build, admin is not really required to be used. As a matter of fact, tying admin to your Demo Shooter can actually cause issues. But again, your setup is, is going to be different. So if you're having issues with admin on, leave it off. If you're having issues with it off, then turn it on. Okay, and then I'm going to check this box right here. Now, very important right here is this application command line parameter. Very, very important. I'll show you what we need to put into here. All right, so this line right here, it reads as dash target equals ring edge two space dash ROM equals TSR. So all this right here is together from the dash target to ring edge two. You'll have a space. 
and then it's dash rom equals tsr all together. So hit your OK. All right, and now we're going to add on one more application, and this is going to be an auto hotkey. What this is going to enable us to do is use the escape button to get out of the game as well as map the lever to your reload button. So whether that's off shooting, pulling your pump action, or if you have another button set for reload, that button will activate as, as the um, special move button that's in the game. Okay, uh, you can name this whatever you want. I just want to name this one lever-exit. Okay, and we're going to use this auto hotkey script right here, and I'm going to place this file into the description below, so you can just download it from my Mega, and then we'll use this file, take the file, unzip it, and then just follow along what we're going to do here next. So we're going to right click on this, we're going to copy as path. Right, and right down here, we're going to right click under application command line parameters and hit paste. Um, check this one right here. And we still have to point out to the actual auto hotkey uh, program. So hit browse, go to the root of your launch box. Mine's named New York Unleashed, yours may just be called Launch Box. We're going to scroll down to third party folder, auto hotkey and click on that hit open and now we have our auto hotkey set up now hit ok these look good hit ok and now let's go ahead and hop in and verify we can play a little bit we can do our special move and we can exit the game out so i'll see you all again about another two to four minutes All right, so we got the game started. Let's go ahead and pull up our border, Alt-B. Let's try to get into the game. All right, so it starts good. I'm able to shoot. So, so far, so good. All right, shooting. I pulled my reload. So that's the lever. You're going to come to the screen. It's going to say pull the uh, lever. Yeah, so you can just shoot off screen or just pull your pump action, which I did. Okay, so far so good. Now see if I can exit the game by using my escape. All right, hit my escape or my rear left on my gun if you have it set the way I do. All right, so we are almost done. Now we're going to do one more thing, and that's going to be uh, tying a reshade to uh, transformers. And then we'll have a complete transformer setup with automatic words coming up. So we'll go ahead and go to the website, go to reshade.me. Uh, just hit download. It's a really small download. Download reset 6.1. Open a file. We can just open this up. All right, now we're going to look for the game. So hit browse. Go to wherever you put the game at. Okay, so we don't want the launcher. That's what we use to launch the game. We just want the executable itself. So we hit open, hit next, and we want to want to do direct X9. Hit next. Make sure Suite FX is checked. Hit next. Okay, everything's good. Finish. Okay, now we'll go ahead and open up our transformers again. 
All right, and I'll see you all in about four minutes. Okay, so it says start it up, and now we have our reshade screen up. So go ahead and hit your home button to open it. Uh, just skip tutorial, iron tutorial right now. And then you'll have all these options here. Easy peasy. I'm going to hit border. Adjust this to whatever size you want it to be on your screen. I actually start out at 10 and then just adjust from there. Turn that black all the way to white. And yeah, still kind of too small. So about 15 looks good to me. Okay, and then of course you can always play around with these other effects if you want. If you're happy with that, hit your home button. And now we're just going to wait for the game to load up. And I haven't tried a second controller yet, so I want to go two gun actions on this round. Just to verify that we do have both guns going at the same time. All right, so we're back in. Player one, player two. All right, so they're both moving. All right, so I can confirm a right will shoot without shooting one. One will shoot without shooting two. And then let's use up special on number two, special on one. Exit our button. And gentlemen, and maybe the two ladies watching this, that is it. So you now have Transformers going if you're running Uncle Rick. Then, of course, the, you added this game to your build. Anyone else, same process will work for any other build. But anyways, that is it. Um, thank you. In the uh, next video, all right, the next video, we'll go through Point Blank X and Transformers 2. And we want to get some really cool media artwork. So we're going to pimp it out for you. Anyways, um, thank you very much for watching. Merit Routine, like, subscribe, and share. It really helps out, and I'm so close to hitting a hundred, hitting a thousand members, and the three thousand watch hours. So any little bit y'all can do to push my videos out, I appreciate it greatly. Anyways, y'all have a great day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.